my previous video lectures i explained the concept of arrays as well as the problems which are related to the con concept of arrays and i explained the logic and the program with respect to the problem uh, hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus so we'll see what is a string as well as what are the problems related to the concept of strings now. we can say that a string is a array of characters or it's a group of characters we call it as and how we can represent those characters like this okay and the data type is char it's a collection of all the characters like this you can write and if you want to group a set of characters you can use double quotes so when you use like this it will store in the memory like this c of 0 will be a c of 1 will be b c of 2 c of 3 and remember this point this whatever if when you when you are saying a group of characters as a string now the last character must be the null character then only i can say it is a string now in this sequence of characters all the characters will be stored like this in an array which is character and last character must be null character like this so like this you can give without giving the size here and here like this you can write with size and if you want to represent each individual character you can keep that in single quotes and you have to represent null character also when you go for single quotes when you go for a group of characters in double quotes no need to represent null character so like this you can represent a string in c so it is a collection of characters or sequence of array of characters so which are ascii characters of course we know that ascii in the sense each symbol that you use in c will have a particular ascii values and especially if you go for upper case a it is uh, 65 upper case b 66 like this upper case z 90 lower case a 97 lower case b 98 like this lower case z 122 and even if you go for the number 0 ask the value of 0 is 48 for 1 it is 49 like this for 9 it is 57 you have ascii values for plus minus like this for plus it is 43 like this you have ascii values for every symbol that you use in c language of course those things you call them as ascii characters a string in c is a sequence of zero or more characters followed by a null character the last character must be the null one a string constants have double quote marks around them so like this double quotes if you take a string it's a constant we can assign a string constant to a character array either with no size space and you can specify a size but leave a space for the null character like this you can specify the size or you are not supposed to like this you can make it so these are the basic ways how you can represent a string in c how you can initialize a basic program i'm writing here i'm taking character a of 20 it can store maximum of 20 characters so i want to enter a name so reading that percent ls is the format specifier for strings of course for percent ls it is only for one character but percent ls it's a group of characters and you have to write a only it's not ampersand a it is simply a so what is this simple a means actually if a is an array in general in integers also if a is an array with some size If I ask you what is a, it is address of a of zero. So that's why directly it gives the address. If I say pointer a, it gives what is a of zero value. So similarly here, a means if I take it as a char a of hundred means what is a simply means it's address of a of zero. Here also it takes the address. That's why when you're reading it, you have to use only a. There is no ampersand required here. and you are printing that name and when you print directly you can put a in the sense so it takes the entire string it takes the entire string and it prints the strings here string here so if i give something like what is a mean something like csc gurus without space i am talking about without space and anyway, i'll explain why i am telling it as without space okay csc gurus as a string a so here it will display as your name is csc gurus so like this it will display so this is a basic initialization now string input output 
how you can read and how you can write and scan f and get us both are you can read and print f and put us both from that you can write the output so like this you can see so why both are why scan f and get us both are required like let us suppose i'll take array one as csc space then gurus and array two as also csc space gurus now i have given two strings like this and one is reading with scanf another one is reading with getS. so now what is the difference of these two means if i make it with scanf it takes the characters up till the space whatever the characters after the space it will be ignored by scanf so it will read only the characters which are before the space so what are the characters only csc so that will be taken by array 1 now what about array 2 it will include the space also as a one character like this it all accepts all the characters so array 2 takes entire string like this both the words it can take so that is the main difference if you consider scan f and get s so of course in some sort of the compilers get s won't work why because there is a disadvantage like it is accepting entire string that means even if i give 10000 or 1 lakh characters it needs to be accepted but uh, for the memory constraints uh, this should not happen so for that purpose in this case you have to use one more function that is called as fgets where you are giving stdi and your input and your variable and how many characters maximum you want to give let us suppose if i make here only 100 that means it includes the space as also character but totally it will take only maximum of 100 characters like this you can limit the number of characters by using fgets remember this point when gets won't work you can use fgets with a, here what is that input i will write it as stdin and what is the variable name array2 comma what is the limit like this you have to give for fgets this will work so now you want to print printf percent ls array2 let us suppose if i give what array2 means which is done with getS. so it has to take space also the output will be here csc gurus when you want to print array1 by putS, of course putS and printf of course there is a almost similarity and of course what is the main difference printf may use format specifier but whereas in putS you won't find any format specifier format specifiers are not required in putS and similarly for getS also format specifier is not required for getS and scanf format specifier is required so printf and scanf you call them as formatted input output functions whereas getS and putS you call them as unformatted input output functions now for array1 what it will take only csc why because after the space it will be ignored by scanf function so that's why array1 consists only csc array2 consists csc gurus like this and remember this point and as well as this point also like getS and putS they are unformatted that means no format specifier is required whereas scanf and printf are called as formatted because they require format specifier like this you can consider when you go for the concept of strings when you give the input and getting the output